good i'm your host jason and welcome to my beginner friendly time doctor time tracking platform review and tutorial in it i will be showing you what is time doctor and also how to use time doctor time tracking platform time doctor is one of the most efficient ways to track your productivity personally and you can also improve how your staff does their work as you'll be able to track their level of productivity also and in turn you'll be able to prevent burnout and you can also monitor if they are doing the amount of work necessary to keep your business up to par and in turn you'll be able to bill them and pay them correctly so it is efficient for you to use on a personal level and it can also be used for business wise to improve how teams perform whether they're working remotely or in office now to get started you're going to go on to timedoctor.com and the thing that i like about this platform is you can try it out for free and you'll know that i love when they offer that option as i believe that that is the best way to test out a platform without any investment so you're going to tap on try it for free then from there you can sign up using your email address once you're signed up, you will be redirected to this page and you can see that you have four different options. You can use it for personal productivity. So in this, you'll be able to get real-time performance, minimize idle or unproductive time and monitor who is actively working. You can also focus on wellness, which you'll be able to boost employee retention and so on. And if you would like to improve time tracking on attendance, you can select this option. You can also select payroll and billing. You can select any one of these four options or you can select, for example, any one of those four options. After you have done that, you can see who owns the computers that your teams work on. And you can select whether company, the company owns the computers or team members. You can select whichever one of these options. If, for example, it is team members, you are going to select team members, then from there you can enter in their email address and you are going to send them an invite link. Then after doing that, you will tap on next, but we are going to tap on skip this step for now. Once you have skipped this step, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And once again, you will be provided with the option to invite users. And you can invite them by pasting in their email. You can also invite, in, invite them by sending a link, as you can see right here. Or you can add by CSV file. So you have numerous options on which you'll be able to add users. And one of the standout features when it comes on to Time Doctor is you'll be able to automatically track users. So once they have installed the app, which they can quickly do, once they have installed the Time Doctor app, from there you'll be able to set it up to automatically start tracking them whenever they're using their computer. So this eliminates the need that you'll normally have with other time trackers that they'll need to press start on. With Time Doctor, you don't have to do that. But they would need to install the app and you, you would be able to set that up. So once they have done that, you'll be able to add users. Another thing that stands out with Time Doctor is by doing this, you'll be able to track all of the apps and softwares that they use on any particular device. So for example, if we were to tap on reports right here, from here, you'll be able to track web and app usage. So you'll tap right here and you'll be able to see all of the websites and apps that they use for a particular date. So this in turn gives you a lot of authority to monitor everything basically that your staff members do on their device. You will be able to also take screenshots and screencasts by tapping on screencasts right there. So if you, at a, you as a manager would like to do that at any time, you can also do that. And this brings me to the different pros and cons of this platform. With this platform, yes, you'll be able to increase your team's productivity and time tracking and so on. But also, you'll be able to accurately build them as you'll be able to see the amount of work that they have done. But it does offer some privacy issues as a lot of persons won't like the idea of you being able to constantly monitor them and also being able to take screenshots and so on of all of their work. 
Now that we have gone over the pros and cons, let me continue with the tutorial. If we were to tap on reports from here, you can tap on activity summary and you'll be able to see all of the work that they have done. You will also be able to track their hours and so on. These are all of the different settings and features that you will be able to track. And if we were to hover over settings, so let's do that. From here, you can tap on project and task settings. After doing that, you can add your first project. So you could type in the project name. After doing that, you can choose whether you'd like everyone in the company to do it or specific groups or specific people. Then you'll tap on the sticky icon for it to be saved. You can also add a particular task by tapping on add task right there. You could type in the task and again, you can assign it to a particular person or you can, uh, you can assign it to a particular group. And if we were to tap on settings once more, from here you'll be able to view the users, the groups. You can also set up email notifications. So you could tap right here. And from here you can create real-time notifications so you'll be able to set it up so you can get a notification whenever a particular task is completed. Or you can set it up to get daily notifications or weekly notification. And if we were to tap on payroll, from here you'll be able to monitor and create payrolls and that's it this is a quick overview of the time doctor app if you found it helpful be sure to hit the like button and subscribe